Hey everyone, it's uh, Steel from the Endless Sphere Forums. Uh, today, I will uh, show you a, uh, it's a smart UPS 1500 APC sine wave um, UPS uh, that I've did some modifications to it. Um, it's a sine wave, as I said, I believe. Um, I'll show you what I did here. So if, I don't know if I could show you from this side. So you'll see in here. If I could show you, you can see some of the MOSFETs in there. Can you? Oh, I think we can see that way. Can you? Oh, it's kind of difficult to see it. Maybe if I go from the other side. Yeah, sorry, you can see it from the side of Anyways, um, so typically there are two FETs per heatsink. You'll see four heatsinks in the well, behind that fan. And there are two FETs each, so I've removed them, uh, which were these guys here. Um, I did ask a fetcher on the forums, and he uh, indicated, to me, indicated to me that these are 55 volts, 98 amp. Uh, fats. So we've replaced them with some good uh, IRFB 4110s. It does work fine. Um, yeah, and then uh, for the gate resistors, there were some. Uh, what I ended up using were some of these guys. 10 ohm. Originally, the gate resistors are like 20 ohms. I believe that's what they are. Um, but I couldn't find 20 ohm. And I didn't want to risk. Uh, not driving them with enough, I guess, power. So I, I went down from 20 ohm, which is what the original are, to 10 ohm. Uh, I put 16 FETs instead of, is there 12? 2, uh, 4, 8, 12, yeah, 16. And there were 2, 4, 6, 8, yeah, there were 8. Yeah, so 8 to 16, I double them. <laughs> Basically, that's it. Um, and then here, let's see what I did. So I just ran a 14 gauge wire all the way around. Add a little bit of, of solder in there. So she's good for quite a bit of current. Um, I have tried it with my uh, heat gun, handy dandy heat gun, uh, which does pull a hell of a lot of power. Um, she does go into overcurrent protection, unfortunately, but she probably can take a, a lot of load compared to it before. So basically, the big thing is the um, I don't know how to properly explain this, but it's the the current spike. That's what those FETs will do. So it can take a bigger spike of current uh, than it would have before. So I don't really have a good comparison. I do have another unit that I should probably compare this to. I mean, this is already a modified unit, but um, I can tell you before putting this on high, it would just shut off the unit instantly. Uh, it wouldn't even stay on. But now it'll stay on for a few seconds. Uh, the load will go extremely high. <laughs> and uh, it'll power down. Um, I'm going to use an amp clamp to, to measure the current right now. The battery's just charging up a little bit. Uh, these are 11 parallel 8S uh, A1T3 cells. The white jackets, 2.2 uh, .2 amp hours. Um, so this pack means this should be good for at least 80 amps uh, factory. Uh, the only down little Downsize is my little copper wiring to series them, but I doubt that gets hot at all, even under full load. Um, so it's 24 volt system. I didn't change these wires, even though I can. Um, these are 10 gauge wires, which uh, from uh, other guys that have modded these uh, similar unit to mine um, say that they're too thin for high current load. But I might change them one day, or maybe double them up. Maybe put dual 10 gauge or eight or six gauge. I haven't decided yet, but I have to solder them into the board to do that. Um, what else did I do? I added one little cap. There's the original cap, which I think is something like 27 uh, UF, 2700 UF. This is a thousand. So just added a little bit more capacitance. It's got its, uh, it says Class H 180 degree transformer in there. Um, yeah, she's a touch warm. She's been charging for about an hour or so. Um, so I'll just do a quick uh, 
I'll show you how long the current spike, like it'll, it will run, but what happens is it just shuts down after a couple of seconds here. How the, the fan just shut off. So you can see the unit's just uh, cooling down a little bit now. Or maybe it's still running. I think the fan's... Oh no, okay. <laughs> it's slowed down. It has a variable speed fan, I guess, depending on the temperature. So we're going to shut off our power. Just down there. Show you what happens here. So straight over to uh, the inverter on sine wave. Um, let's see here. We're on current right now from the battery. I want to... Hmm. Let's see if I can hook up a uh, power bar one sec. I'll be right back. All right, I was just trying to find some... Um, my watt meter, which I don't know where the hell I stuck it. Um, anyways, so what we're going to do is, I believe... I'm not sure. I think this is measuring the output. Or the input. I could be wrong. Maybe these are going to measure the same thing. Who knows? Uh, right now, she is still charging the batteries. Uh, the cells are not at 3, 4. So we're going to shut the power off again. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to... I was going to hook up this power bar, but I don't want, I don't want to run through the power bar. We're going to just connect to the back of the unit. Okay. Alright, um, so I'll show off the power. So, load at idle. So it's about 25 watts, which is not the lowest, but hey, uh, it is a cheap inverter uh, and it's sine wave. What more do you want? So here we go. We're going to turn on the, the uh, heat gun. So remember this, I'll stop that for a second. This unit is rated at 950 watts, um, continuous I believe, like 950. It's under 1000, so that's already 600. And I'm going to just hit high. So it goes power overload. <laughs> Contact tech support. Uh, I'm going to try a different load. I'm going to go grab a um, heater, uh, see how that works. I am going to try uh, to show you guys one more thing, because I did show you the wattage here, but I want you to see the load. So again, I'm going to just try to get this heat gun going for as long as it goes before it shuts off. It's only 57, 58 amps, not that much. 57.58. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we're gonna try the good old heater with my DIY thermostat from another heater. It was just straight a low and high, and I added a thermostat because it would just get too hot in the room. Again, we're gonna shut off our power. She's still charging. All right, let's see what this will do. Just going to try to go back to the same screen. And configuration. I got to try playing with to see if I can get any more. Change the overload on it, which I probably don't. But oh wow, I got to figure out how to use this thing. Hold on. Okay. Oh, let me get to that water screen one sec. All right, here we go. We're back. I'm going to just show this. Okay, we're going to go with low first and uh, see what happens. Oh, I should say that is the fan. It doesn't even show a load. That's hilarious. Because the fan is such a low load. It's barely considering anything. Oh, put it in. Well, this is just fan, so then low. There we go, 32 amps, 730 watt. Seventh sixty-three VA. Let's 
All right, here we go. We're going to go for gold. I wonder what the VA will be. Let's see if we can get VA on high, but... Thirteen twenty. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can configure some stuff to uh, change that overload. Let me see what I can do. One sec. Gonna try two low loads. Uh, half power on this heat gun. Half power on that heater. Right now we're at. Load energy. I'm guessing it peaked at two kilowatts. I don't know under load. I'm not sure. There's the load. There's the amps coming out of the uh, AC side. Finally found it. VA. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I don't think I'm gonna be able to peak over a thousand watts. I don't know how else to do it. Hmm. Yeah, I just won't do it. I'm not sure. Trying to find another smaller load. Just want to see exactly what I can get out of it. I'll see if I can get a hair dryer. Couldn't get the uh, thing to stay on because that hair dryer is just pulling even way more power. <laughs> Something like 80 amps at 24 volts, uh, which is that hair dryer. So, but what I can show though is the uh, the momentary peak uh, that I could kind of show with this. So we'll leave that on low which is already pulling 700 watts. I'll see if I can get this thing to show it on the display. Oh wow, see, it's tough. I don't know if it's gonna, I would like to use this to charge my EV. Um, basically a big 24 volt lead bank that I have um, and just hook up the level one charger that's that's all I'm asking so it's just over a um, thousand watts of power you know it's it's a lot of demand I guess you know I'm running that at 700 watts and then I'm powering that momentarily for a couple of uh, seconds there um, which is already pulling like another 80 amps so let's see if I can get this thing to turn back on Forget how to keep turning this thing on. Hold on. Let's just turn the power on. Oh, she did not like that last overload. Hold on. Another quick test I will show, um, and I'll do this the best I can. We're gonna, so we're pulling 32 amps. We're using this still the same heater, 700 watt, 720 watt load. Um, we're gonna show the battery sag on just 30 amps, because this, I know that this can be also a reason why it's shutting off. Um, hold on. Okay, I think this should work. So we're 25 volts here, 25.5, and I will check the top, and we're at 25.420 there, so, uh, what was that, a tenth of a volt sag? So, it's not bad, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if I upgraded this wire if there would be a uh, chance that it won't shut down. Uh, because of the sag, it'll be a lot better. Um, but I don't, unfortunately don't have the cables and stuff to do that right now. But it was a pretty good, interesting test. Um, let's see, I'll try this one more time. Let's just try the hair dryer one more time. This thing's a beast, though. Thing pulls. It must pull like 80, 80, uh, 1800.
1600 VA. <laughs> just will not do 80 amps 80 amps at 24 volts that will smoke the battery really fast anyways um, you know overall was it worth it I still think uh, for what I paid for this which I didn't pay very much um, still awesome for a sine wave 1000 watt inverter um, I'm still curious to know because it does do the peak. Um, I'd like to power things like a fridge and see how it, it works, like if it takes the peak and it keeps running. Um, I'm sure it would because uh, it's, I mean, it's these hair dryers and this heater is like worst case scenario. Um, it does not like when. <laughs> oh, this is fault. Yeah, it does not like when that happens, I guess. Too much load, it just wants to be like shut down completely. Um, oh, there we go. I think there's a delay. Because if we peak it uh, at like 1800 watts, it will a little input voltage oh, look at that so it's saying that's the low input voltage so maybe it is the sag I'm not sure um, I'll have to add another cable I'm probably add another cable and uh, come back to you guys on this but um, as for a surge like we go like if I do a three second surge let's see and go into low one two three Ugh. Still too long, <laughs> and she still ends up shutting off. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna let this battery fully charge, um, and I'm gonna try the same test and see if it shuts off that quick. Uh, I don't know if it'll be in this video, but uh, I'll probably report back and let you guys know if it does end up working. Thanks for watching.